What's bracking guys? Welcome to episode one of season two of my FCU threat career mode. So definitely excited to get into this one. As you can see, the lead objective, they want us to have an high, a high league table finish. Uh, not sure what that means exactly. I'm assuming close to the top end of the table, close to uh, the top of the table, but uh, I guess that's what it is. But I essentially, I, anyways, my goal is to finish in second place. I want to finish in a Champions League spot or even win the league if that can happen. So uh, that is my objective, essentially. We do have a kind of hefty budget, but I do have to say because I had to re-sign a lot of players on the new contract, so they didn't leave in this transfer window, that um, a lot of it is going to go down, so I'm not going to have as much as is listed there, and of course we have the pre-contract player arrival of the man Giassi's artist. Of course, I know he's brought in frequently, but this is actually one of the most realistic moves I actually think would be uh, for him in real life. I think you know him moving to another VZS side would be tremendous for him, but you'll see actually, I'm going to target Douglas uh, who did play for FC Twente um, before, um, of course, moving to uh, the side with, he's with now uh, and Dynamo Moskva. So I definitely think he would be a good uh, buy for us. So he does have his uh, Dutch citizenship. I know he's naturalized Dutch. Uh, he's previously Brazilian, so he's uh, Dutch Brazilian, whatever. But uh, a fairly hefty offer him. He has really high wages, but uh, he's actually already a 77 overall. I'll just spoil it for you guys. So. Uh, it, that's exactly what I'm targeting him. We need another defender. We just need, in general, we need uh, a deeper squad, really, because we're going to have to deal with Europe, Europa League as, as if we get through in our uh, playoff, uh, two leg playoff against Mole, of course, of Norway. You'll see Santori here, 7. Point million euros. Um, I The only way I would bring in a boy, get rid of Boyman's essentially is for maybe, like, a, of course, 9 million euros or even more than that. But uh, we'll see here, Yannick Corti. I'm going to sell him here, of course, very unhappy left back, pretty young. Young, but um, nobody, I uh, just didn't see much of a future with him because there are other left backs as options here. But you'll see uh, Bayer Leverkusen, a big offer, so 7 million euros for Boymans is pretty big. But of course, I wanted a lot more. Uh, I do think he's going to be an integral part. I would like to have, you know, Boymans, Zardes, and of course, Ruby and sitting in be Ruben sitting in behind either as, uh, as a cam or I'll move to a 4 3 3 with three strikers essentially. We'll see how things go there in that uh, facet though. You'll see, of course, Douglas um, trying to get that offer down as much as possible essentially because he does have high wages, so it'll hurt our budget a bit but uh you know with the Europa League and the like I will expect I do expect we're going to be able to bring in some decent players you know in the next transfer window because uh, of uh, basically the Dutch Cup have a game or two in in that facet and uh, have some money in from the Europa League and of course you see selling off another left back that is surplus to our team so that's great for us and uh, as you can see we're going to off try to offer him a little bit less as well as crucial first team players see if you accept it so we can get a little bit um, have a little bit more money to maybe bring in another player or two uh, I will have enough to for a couple more players but uh, either way I will see what happens after that because we have to get this, set, this season start off with a huge match against Feyenoord of course they won the Eredivisie in the previous season so we definitely <laughs> definitely a big opener, opener here. Definitely a big way to get the season started and for the debut of Giassi's artist to come uh, in this type of matchup here. So definitely excited to see how he comes, how he uh, debuts for us. Um, essentially, you know, it'd be very interesting to see how this squad is going to look um, over these, uh, you know, the rest of the season. It's going to be very interesting. You know, with Europa League and like, we're going to have a lot of games. So we'll see how things go, guys. Definitely be a very fun season. But uh, you'll see here, of course, uh, Ruben, Boymans, Zardes, Ayub, Gomez, Savic, Kum, Lewin, Marquit, Fuentes, Verhoeven. Because we have not brought in uh, Douglas yet. So we'll see how things go there. But uh, Feyenoord still has, I mean, their core, essentially, of their side. They still have Turnstra. They still have Klasi. They still have Vilena, of course. Uh, very good players. So we have to look out for them. I uh, will see how, what happens here. It's a very tough way to open up the season, essentially against a squad of this caliber. Um we're going to have to be at the top of our game, essentially, throughout this one. But you'll see here, Zard is going to have some space, a very unnecessary spin move. Uh, but it does buy some time for Boymans to move forward here. Boymans is going to have a bit of space here. Uh, play the ball back to Ayub. Play the ball back out wide to Zardes. Cut the ball back to his right foot. He's just so agile. And you see he's going to put this cross in to Savic. Uh, and he just cannot get good contact on that volley, unfortunately, there. But uh, either way, we're going to have to try to come back. It's a huge chance here. Verhoeven. Uh, not the best of Perry, I sa I'll say. But he has been playing out of his mind, above his level. That was just tremendous uh, from him so far in these last two scenes. I still need to bring up a backup goalie essentially, so we'll see how things go in that department. Zardes here to Boymans. It's going to be hit there. A good save. Zardes so active at the beginning of this matchup here. Great to see from him. Um, just a great contact and a forces a big save there to keep things uh, 
level, uh, but you'll see here a good chance uh, right here out wide, but Verhoeven again playing so strong, so big, really covered that short post well, which is rare to see in this game, I have to say, so uh, we'll take it, but you see, try to break through here, Zard is bodying up his man, he's going to play the ball to Kuhn, he's going to put the ball back in on his right foot to Boymans, and he's going to crawl, head that in, uh, this is old school, this exa looks exactly like last season, uh, Boymans being a big tank up there, finding space, being as a defender, and heading that in, great to see from him, he's best when he's posting up because I, I just cannot win aerial battles on leg legendary 1v1 battles on legendary are really hard to win for some reason I mean because of the way uh, they handicap the user I'm not sure but either way it's a big chance what a tackle there from Luwin right there to start a break possibly can we get out here this artist looks like he's going to have a bit of room running at the defense he's going to play the ball over the top two points here out wide it's a bit of space going to cut back in he's going to take this shot will that go into the, the net oh that just goes chest wide uh, looked like that was going to the side netting uh, of course in the goal but uh, fortunately goes on the wrong side but uh, either way we're going to have to try to come back grab another goal maybe uh, that would be great against Feyenoord to get us a bit of a cushion against this quality side but a great uh, beautiful build up play the ball is being played here out to Ruben and look at this look at this low cross Chess finds the space of Zardes uh, and that was a tremendous run by Sardis as well to find that space there uh, for that tap in. That again, just have to look at the replay. That's just gorgeous, gorgeous run, gorgeous ball. Uh, just great stuff from our side there. Uh, so Ruben showing very well in his first game playing in that center attacking mid role. Of course, he played a little bit of it last year, but only when necessary because uh, of injuries to Barazait and the like. But uh, you'll see here, of course, Ruben can get the, pick up the ball back to Savic. He's going to have a bit of space. And look at this hit from Ruben. What a goal from the youngster. He's really uh, looks like he's just maturing so well of course thrown in the fire a lot of parts of last season um, and of course he has done well scored quite a few goals some good assists as well and that's just a tremendous finish from Ruben definitely glad to see him maturing in that aspect because there were some chances he scuffed last season I have to say so uh, great to see him maturing and just scoring a tremendous goal in that fast in that fashion right there but you'll see a good chance right here this is just BS I have to say this uh, pretty crappy penalty um, Basically, it looked like he got the ball, but of course, you know, the way they tackle in the game, uh, they just have no control of their body. They're just kind of clumsy. So, either way, our captain, unfortunately, is going to grab a penalty there. Definitely not something you want to happen, but uh, uh, that may have been a penalty. It's kind of harsh, maybe. I don't know, but he did go through him a little bit, it looks like. So, they're going to step up and take this, but it's so late in the game. It'll be a consolation goal at the best, unless they can have a huge flurry. They do score it, but... Uh, Either way, has been a tremendous matchup, tremendous performance for our side in all facets here. Some big defensive plays I showed in this game as well as, of course, tremendous offensively in that facet. But uh, here, it looks like we may have, may have another chance. Peterson, our young right winger, is actually going to have a chance out here uh, late in the game. going to play the ball back to Boyman's, cut it back here to Ruben. The ball is going to be cut through to Deemers, of course, our young central midfielder. And a nice little finish from him to grab another goal for us, 4-1 was a statement victory in the opening game of the season against the previous season's champs but of course uh we still have to try to be consistent something i always lack in career modes i can never have good form it just always seems to be off and on off and on now we just have to try to keep that up if we want to grab second place of course as you can see these weird animations at the end of the game but uh uh, wonderful performance, well-rounded, of course, to start the season out. But uh, we're going to have a tough matchup coming up against AZ, a team where I really, you know, we did really well against at the say last season. But uh, they are very talented, so uh, we did very well just by finishing above them in the previous fix season. But I do expect them to come back stronger. As you can see, I do accept the offer of Douglas, 4.5 million euro transfer. Uh, that's really not bad. The wages is with the high the part that kind of sucks about him but you'll see with some of his physical stats coming up uh stats in general he just looks great here as you see 77 overall um just as you can see slotting in there great strength good stamina great to see aggression interceptions is pretty high uh he's just a very solid player in all facets uh very very well rounded i have to say so definitely he's going to sl slot in pretty nicely as i'll take a little bit longer look for you guys as you can see some of his other stats here uh of course good tackling which is great to see marking is pretty solid uh shot power is actually kind of high too of course you can see medium high work rate which is great and he's a pretty big man as you can see six foot four strength specialty power header so that 
that is a great combination of stats for this guy. Excited to see how he's going to step in. But we're going to have to, have to take a look at another player. Tyrone Mings just recently did a player growth test on him. So I did put an inquiry for him. And that's a really a cheap offer. He's a guy who's going to play above his overall, uh, essentially, because he is just a beast physically. He's 6'4", 6'5", for a left back. But he's really quick and agile for his size. Has good strength. He's going to be a beast defensively. And his crossing is pretty solid for, you know, a guy who is a good defensive left back in essence and we do get a offer for Ruby and Ru Rubio Rubin but that's just a crappy offer 625,000 euros and that is you have to be joking me that's not going to happen in any any time it's never going to happen but uh, here against AZ of course I look out for them they're such a quality team uh, but of course we have the debut as artist in the previous episode now we're going to have the debut of uh, Douglas here so definitely excited to see him he's a pretty big guy as you can see uh, walking up here onto the pitch for his debut excited to have him on the side of course making his return to the Netherlands of course when he played for SC20 before I believe it was but uh, quality player here and we're excited to have him in our, on our side here but uh, you'll see Ruben up top again Boyman Zardes Ayu Gomez Savic Kum Lewin Douglas Fuentes Verhoeven so excited to see how this squad continues to perform here and another tough test against AZ you can see um, just a quality team again I have to really look out for Johansson up top seems to really develop over the years give us some fits in the last season so, uh, have to try to do our best to contain him Hopefully Douglas can have a solid game and um, keep him in check. But you'll see here, to start out this game, the balls me played here. Good interplay uh, from all Zed. Just some nice little build up. And look at this uh, tremendous, tremendous run. Uh, but uh, either way, that's a good uh, chance right there from them as they do miss out wide. But uh, just great build up play as a great uh, build up play again here from all Zed. They're just really looking very dangerous. And look at this run from Johansson. What a finish from him. Of course, the American facing uh, two other fellow Americans and Zardes and Ruben uh, coming up with a goal against his teammates uh, for his national team. But uh, this is just pretty disappointing to see that type of goal happen. But that's just perfect. Cannot do too much about that. Of course, we avoided... Uh, you know, just a huge chance in the previous uh, action, but uh, unfortunately we cannot stop Johansson in that instance here. The ball's to be played out wide to Ruben. Gonna have a bit of a shot here. Gonna t put this ball into Ayub. Does a good job bringing it down, but hits, hits it right at the keeper. Very unfortunate from Ayub. Should be doing a lot better with that chance there. Put a lot more power on it. That's a very good chance created by Ruben. Really like how he's been playing at center, at, uh, center attacking mid. Douglas had a good. Uh, tackle right there you see this game just nothing was going our way Boyman's could not get any con good contact on that right there uh, unfortunately but we have a chance maybe late here uh, as Barzite is going to come in have a bit of, bit of a go at it uh, but unfortunately it's going to be deflected out that was a big chance there that just goes wide unfortunately maybe you have a chance here on this corner here uh, it's going to be taken here. Douglas looks like he got a head on it, but uh, it's a, one of those annoying corners where both play two players are going at it at once, and thus you cannot get much power, contact, or accuracy on it as that was cleared out. Uh, very unfortunate losing here to Ozzed after a good result against Fe Feyenoord. We just have to be more consistent and be, you know, be able to string more of these types of results together if you want to get in the second place here. So hopefully, you know, that's where we end up in second place. We can build on this result, maybe steal three points against Ozzed at their at their play so uh we'll see tyron mings is definitely going to bring him in very good uh wages too he's not expensive which is going to be nice of course in comparison to douglas um some people may think i paid way too much of course considering his wages but uh i do think he's going to help us out uh, considering he's a 77 overall so he's going to come in here and i'm going to sign a backup keeper it's a guy who i think might actually be glitched i'm not sure i've done i've used him in like my player growth test just to kind of fill out squads and he actually continues to grow despite not being uh, the best of keepers, essentially, not really n anything notable or anything, but uh, of course here, um, just gonna take a look at the squad as we round out this episode. I'll tr maybe I can bring another player, but I'm not sure. Uh, and if I do, just would love suggestions. What position? I do need a str some backup strikers, is what I'll say. If you guys think I should look for some players, chest on loan, maybe some younger players. Look through the transfer list. There's guys like Isaiah Brown, always available. May look to bring him in on loan, but we'll see what else you guys have in store. What else you guys think I should go with? But uh, a big episode coming up, as you can see, with the Europa League playoffs, and we'll be. Uh, have a Eredivisie game sandwiches in, sandwiched in there. But uh, thanks, guys, for tuning in to this episode. Uh, hope you guys have enjoyed this series so far. Excited to get the second season going. But uh, I'll be wrapping up this episode now, guys. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll catch you guys later.